I serve as the executive director of the Ohio Arts Council, and you know what that means. I work for you. Your tax dollars support the Ohio Arts Council and the grants we're able to give to artists and arts organizations around the state in all 88 counties, and we're really proud of that. Mm -hmm. So thank you for paying your taxes, for working, for buying things. It's all important for the arts. It's part of the ecosystem. This morning we're gathered to celebrate the creativity of some pretty fantastic students. So just so I know where you are in the audience, will all of our student artists stand up? Wow. is all about you and I wish I could say that the Art Ed Association and the Ohio Arts Council it was all our idea but it wasn't it was the Ohio House of Representatives who wanted to have an exhibition of high school student work to show off the professional arts educators in our state who are providing a wonderful education to our students and I love the idea so when they called we said yes and then we called Matt Young and he said yes and before you know it we're now in our fourth year Matt, four years three or four Five, years four, it seems like ten to me really um, because it's so exciting I don't know if all of you know this but down in the hallway where the exhibition is for an entire year more I'd say tens of thousands of people see your work, and it's inspiring. Sometimes we, I will walk by when I'm coming over for a legislative visit, and there'll be people crowded around a particular image, and I just act like I don't know what they're doing, you know, and stop and say, oh, isn't that great work? And I find out many times it's not their students' work. They're admiring the work like they are in a museum or a gallery. And so thank you for making people's lives happy in Columbus when they're co coming to our capital to do some legislative work, to do business, or just to be sightseers and tourists. You're making that experience very positive and happy for lots of people. Um, as like Donna said, I'm the president-elect, not quite president yet, still got a little time to learn. Uh, and I represent Ohio art educators from all over the state of Ohio. We have about 1,500 members. Uh, and we help them with professional development, shows like this one, other shows throughout the year, maybe for any of you guys young artists and had your work exhibited down here as a younger kid. I see a couple of things up there. That is awesome. Um, we also help out with the youth shows. I would also, if Kurt, Record, and Justin, are they in here? Justin, I even if they're not in here, everybody clap their hands. Really, really loud. <laughs> These two gentlemen have put in so much time and effort into this show over the last few years. I have personally worked on the show, and I know how much time and effort it takes. And Justin has worked on it with me and everyone else since the beginning, and he has put on an amazing show and grown into what it is today. Um, my main profession is an art teacher. I teach at Pickerington Central High School. I've been doing that for the last 24 years. Yep. <coughs> Sorry. Um, <coughs> 24 years seems like a long time, but um, it does make me qualified to speak to you <laughs> about uh, the show here. Um, seeing the creativity and the work downstairs is just amazing i'm blown away every single year which is why i've been doing this for 24 years from the creativity of not only my students but students from around ohio it's insane to think about when i was in high school versus the work now the creativity that pops out of every student's mind differently thousands of times over all the years i've been teaching and they're all so different and unique but I know that the creativity cannot be fostered without our art teachers. Are there any art teachers out here in the audience today? Can you please stand? These folks, I know what it's like, and like Donna said, traveling around, delivering work, mailing work, taking pictures of work. They are so proud of what they do every day, and I think that's what makes us unique as teachers, is not to knock on the core teachers, because I do love all of the teachers in my building, but the one thing unique about art teachers is not only do we try to foster creativity and see creativity and teach our students a lot about the world, 
but we're very proud of our students' work. I mean, in all honesty, I've never seen a math paper among our hallways. <laughs> <laughs> but the shows and the places that our works go and everything that's delivered, it's just, it's just a unique opportunity as an art teacher to see our students' work out there for everyone else to see. But seeing your work out there is also why it's important for us to remember why art education is so important. I know that I'm preaching to the choir because you've all traveled down here, uh, but just in case you didn't know about what art does for our students, besides hanging in the hallways, uh, did you know that students that participate in the arts are more likely to be recognized for academic achievements as well? To win an award for writing, to have a class office, and to win award for attendance. The arts keeps the kids in schools. It also helps students gain a greater understanding and appreciation for the world around them. I know you guys already you know this, but students are the shining examples. You guys are the shining examples of the power of arts and education. Art has always been important to me. I can remember back to the fourth grade. My art teacher asked us to do a drawing of our friends. And I drew, I drew my friend and transformed him into a Hulk. It was a progression series. My little nerdy art friend became this big guy, the Hulk. And I won the award. I don't know if that's why I'm an art teacher today, but it definitely got me hooked on the arts, and I still have the artwork in my portfolio today just to show how far I've come as an artist. All of us could not have come as far as we have without our family. My family as well gave me countless of artless art supplies, allowed me to take classes in high school, and even allowed me to major in art in high school when art was not a thing that you majored in when you went to college. Um, but now, I've been teaching for over half my life and loved every, all right, 90% of it. <laughs> but in all honesty, parents, how many of us can say that we've loved our jobs 90% of the time? Right? Um, I get to see... 20 to 30 different points of view, seven periods a day, 180 days a year, and I'm also legally allowed to let kids use chemicals, set things on fire, and play with sharp objects in my room. <laughs> uh, but the art feature is brighter for you guys uh, than it was for me. Question, since I do like audience participation, can anyone name me the two top industries in America right now that have to do with the arts? They're actually the two top industries overall. Any guesses? Audience? Design. Graphic design? No, yeah. but I like it. Technology. Textiles? Close. Fashion Technology. is a third. Anybody? Media? Media as in? Um, creative media. Creative media. What movie opened last weekend? Avengers. Yeah, see, all of you guys. Avengers, the game. Billion dollars, right? Does anyone think that the Hulk is real? No. <laughs> no. All right, good. Thank goodness we're all there. Um, but yes, between the movies and video games, because we all have those little computer devices in our pockets, it is a $600 billion industry. And who do you think, who do we think make all those things? Artists. Hundreds of artists make all these things. And what's neat is by the time you guys graduate, there are going to be careers that not any of us have ever thought of. With so many opportunities for you in the arts today, you guys can take a picture with your screen on your phone. You can share your work all over the world without living, leaving your living room. But do not forget that the art is about the making process, the feeling process, and the doing process. So please, try all of the arts you can in school. You will find which one you like the best. I was trained as a sculptor, a ceramicist, and a metal artist, but I still love to draw and paint. And yes, I even had to learn to teach computer graphics. <laughs> but nothing beats being able to grab my sketchbook, a torch, and a hammer, and create a piece of jewelry from a single hunk of metal. So go ahead, when you get back, spill some paint, sculpt some clay, build, think, do. The arts are where you can express yourself and have complete freedom. And as the famous artist Matisse once said, creativity takes courage. So be courageous in all that you do, and I hope to see you guys at some upcoming shows or even on the screen, or maybe in one of the museums. But whatever you do, please do it creatively. Thank you. I was worried I was going to 
go after you, Matt. The microphone would be, you know, fuck 10 feet taller than a, I could speak into, but this is nice. Thanks, Don. Uh, congratulations to all of our students here today. Congratulations to your parents, too, for raising children who are so creative that they've been bestowed with this honor to uh, have their artwork on exhibition here uh, in the state capitol. And not just in the state capitol, but in a space that uh, today, since it's Saturday, looks very empty. We will be activating that space later today when we go down into the um, into the hallway to uh, view the artwork. Um, but know that on an average weekday, and Don, I heard you say this too, we're, we're talking about you know the course would be your tens of thousands of people, and in particular, a very important audience for us as a as a public agency, as a, as a state agency, uh, your elected officials who serve in the Ohio House of Representatives, the Ohio Senate, the Ohio Governor, all of our statewide officials. Uh, these are the folks who are seeing your artwork uh, day in day out. And not just seeing it, but sometimes I would wager that it's the last thing they see before they go into House chambers to vote on uh, the legislation of the day. And so it's a nice subliminal message for us to remind them subtly that arts education is very important uh, and that it sets uh, a foundation, whether you go into the creative industries or not, um, for a well-rounded education that empowers you uh, to be uh, young people who join the workforce uh, go to college, whatever it is you choose to do with your lives, um, but who have the skills then to thrive in today's economy, which thrive, which which depends so much, especially in America, uh, on creativity, on, on innovation. So thank you uh, very much for your uh, creativity and, and your ability to share it with us here today. Um, I have a couple of logistical uh, items, and, and then what I will do is um, lead you all out, get you in numeric order, and then we'll re-enter, and you'll be uh, conferred your honors. Uh, one thing I'll say, you'll be getting two awards today. But some of you will be getting two awards today, some of you will be getting one and then another in the mail. Everybody will get a blue uh, folder uh, with a certificate uh, honoring your participation in the ceremony from the Ohio Arts Council and the Ohio Ed Art Education Association. Uh, some of you will also be getting today, and if you don't get it today, we'll be mailed to you a, a commendation from the House of Representatives, which is really cool. It's really hard to get those. <laughs> so, um, consider framing it, or at least putting it behind some sort of glass. Michael's has them, Cole's has them, or you can pay a lot of money for it. Whatever you choose to do, uh, treat it treat it uh, well. It's not something you want. I was just joking with uh, my spouse the other day that we've got all of our, our, our children are two and a half and seven months old, and they come home with artwork sometimes from their childcare facility, and I'm putting it in a big sterile container. Don't do this with the house accommodation. You want to you find a place for it, probably in your home. So uh, with that said, uh, I will uh, ask students to follow me out uh, this exit. We'll line up, and then we'll come back and we'll re-enter this side, uh, and I'll see you in you know, three minutes.